Good morning, Tim and Erica. Yeah, back in January, the FAA was actually forced to change its policy when it comes to the handling of unruly passengers because of that increase. They used to give people a warning, but starting in January of this year, they began taking legal action immediately. So passengers who interfere with physically assault or threaten to physically assault anyone on the airplane could face up to $35,000 fine or spend some time in prison. Now, the FAA releasing its latest numbers this week on unruly passengers over the last year. They say there have been more than 4,800 unruly passenger reports, around 3,500 mask-related incidents. And in the week of October 10th alone, there were 5.8 reported unruly passenger incidents per 10,000 flights. But since the FAA started to crack down on these cases, they did some public information messaging. You can see on this graphic that the number of incidents have continued to decline since that January spike we were talking about earlier. Now this morning at Bradley, we caught up with one couple traveling for the first time in two years, and they tell us that they're not too concerned about someone acting out, but of course they are aware of the problem. I'm not. I mean, it's it's pretty far in the back of my mind. I don't expect any problems. I know I, I like to expect people to do the right thing, right? Uh, assume good intent, but it doesn't surprise me uh, that with the amount of anger that we see. Now, this is a national problem, but we have seen an instance of this recently here at Bradley. Two women were arrested last month for a similar thing. We'll talk about that coming up in the next hour. For now, we are live at Bradley. Julia LeBlanc, Fox 61 News.